Hi. <laughs> now, why don't you two go get some fresh air outside? It ought to ease the shock of the change. Change? What change? And so we're in a forest. I knew it was you. Faye? When you came in the room just then, I was afraid you may have forgotten about me and everything else. What do you mean? I mean, because, Ellie, you seemed a little different than before. Has my face changed? No, that's not it. It's more like... I mean, your atmosphere and impression is different. Just a little. She's not glowing anymore. But I felt something familiar. I felt the same way when I met you for the first time. Some peculiar feeling like we've met before, somewhere. I feel it in my pants. That's why he's looking down at them right now. Faye. Yes. I don't remember much what happened after we were shot down. It's better that way. But I heard someone calling my name. I felt I was covered with something very warm. Like blood? That's gross. I remember that clearly. Hmm. Thank you, Faye. Ellie. Oh, go for it. Hey. Hey, it's almost time for you to come back. Oh, Tora for the block. There's something important we need to talk to you about. Uh, all right, we're coming. Well, Ellie, shall we go see what's up? Sh sure. Fine, so back in here. Where the hell's the door? I can't go around the ferns. Are you kidding me? They're ferns. Just step on them. Where the hell is this door? Oh, you guys are killing me. I don't just go in here. Like one of these things? No. The hell? There's his door. It's not nice to put me on a roof and not show me where the door is. Fine, we'll talk to you. Didn't make out or anything. Thanks, Tora. How do you feel now? The fresh forest air should have refreshed you somewhat. Anyway, it's about the removal of the seal. I found out it can be released by using the nano technology that regenerated you two. The nano assemblers are enclosed in this pod. If only we could scatter them all over the world. There is an ancient military installation nearby. We might be able to use the mass driver located in there to launch this pod into the upper, upper atmosphere. Once the nano assemblers are released up there, the convection currents should spread them over the world. I wish I could go do it. I'm getting much too old for that type of thing. Then again, it's for your future. An old man should not butt in. You young ones must do it for yourselves. Here. And of course, I'm not asking you to do it for free. Try this wristband on. What? What is that? This is an emotion control device in which a nanotechnology is applied. From this machine shaped as a wristband, nanomachines are infused through your epidermis into your brain. There they refine the SSRI intracere... Sorry. <coughs> SSRI intracerebral substances such as serotonin that control emotions. What? Well, I suppose it's rather diffi difficult for you to understand. All of a sudden, Tora got condescending. But in short, it means that the manifestation of your second personality, id, can be suppressed. Id. Fay. Well, it's all theoretical, though. Oh, and I did one more thing as well. I installed the same control device in your gear. You mean it can release id at will? Yes. I called it System Id. 
But of course, it should not be overused. Use it only as a last resort. No. Ellie, Doc, I... Faye, there was nothing you could do. It will never happen again with Tor's technology, though. He is one of the three Shavat sages. Whether you believe it or not, it's up to you. Sounds like we have a guest. We probably do. Is that a visitor? I heard. Maybe. How you doing, Doc? Hey, it is all right. Okay. So yes, we do have access to System ID. Let's see if we can take a look at that now. Abilities. No. Your options. There it is. Fix frame, but it's not there yet. Uh. So yeah. Look at that. Attack. 500, 360, defense 600, 500, 313, ether defense. So ether defense is really what's up. Agility and ether application response are the same. Now, so let's head through this door. An emissary. Faye, we've got problems. What is it, emissary? Speak. Today, a peace settlement between Ave and Kislev is being held at Shavat, but Solaris's mobile weapons are approaching so Shavat as we speak. Please help us! That has nothing to do with this young man! Tora! You're getting on my nerves for being so selfish! Sedan told me about you. You showed up after finding out that it is now controllable! Aren't you ashamed? You haven't changed since then. You only care about yourselves! Hey, you don't need to listen to these guys who once tried to kill you. But... Please go. I'll go to the mass driver. Ellie? No matter what happened before, Shavat needs your help now. Although you may be saving some selfish people, there is still the world and its countries with many more innocent people. Please, don't forget that. Bart and his people are fighting to protect those same lives, aren't they? So please go help them. Are you sure? What about you? Don't worry about me. I'll manage somehow. But all by yourself? I will accompany Ellie. You do not need to worry. I have brought along my own Omni Gear. Your own Omni Gear? Yes, my Omnigear, Fenrir, is the same one I brought from Solaris. I left it with Gaspar in case of emergencies. Doc, all right, please take care of it for me. Ellie, be careful. I will. We are truly grateful for your kindness, Faye. <laughs> Suit yourselves. Wait, there was a save point I wanted to use. Ignis, right? Yes, the goal of the enemy is to destroy the cities in Indus. They have already destroyed half of Bledovic and will probably reach Nissan in about four hours. Shavat will try to drive them back with all the power it has. Four hours. That's cutting it close. No need to worry. Balthazar and I fixed your gear with the nano machines. It's much more powerful than it ever was before. Why, you should get there in half the time. What? Is old man Bal here? Emeralda is here as well. Can she be in my party? That would be awesome. Oh! He got beefy! Damn! Weldall's been working out! I don't know why we have to look at his back. The, the, the back is the same. Apparently, they're trying to to appease their machine fetish fanboys that wanted to look at Weltall's ass, but there's like nothing there. It's a hinge, pretty much. This is incredible! We meet again. The host for the spirit of the Slayer of God. I didn't think I would ever work on it again. Why are you both helping me? There are some things you just can't explain with the word. Fate. 
You're just going to have to see it with your own eyes. Faye! Going? Yeah, I'd better hurry. Hey, where are you going? Faye, please hurry! Uh, Alright. Back on the Welta we go! It is time to charge up! Boosters activated! Go! Tree, get in my way! Thank you. Thank you for that. Can we just, like, go? It'd be greatly appreciated. There we go! Off we fly! We needed the camera pan before we could do that. I, I don't know why. But whatever. Are you sure you want to go through with this? You wanted to live quietly away from the battlefield, did you not? I noticed myself running away from reality. At first, I thought my situation was similar to his. I thought Faye would understand my feelings. I didn't know if my love for him was real. I might have been desperate after losing my mother and father. Ellie. Despite all that, I may still love him. That's why I want to see what Faye can do and what I can do. I want us to be apart and think about ourselves again. I want to see how I really feel. You have changed a lot, Ellie. What happened to you in the past three weeks? Really? I don't think I've changed. Yes, you have. You should say you have matured. I should say you have matured. Like a mother. There's no quotes, though. But there should be. Excuse me, I'm only 18 years old. Really? Your picture kind of makes you older than that, which is weird. I'm nowhere near the age of being your mother. Satan's like, what, thousands of years old? They never really said. Whatever. Sorry. You gave me that impression, that is all. That is a hearty laugh he has. Anyway, Satan, I'm going now. Alright. I will follow you as soon as I finish off here. I... I go too. What? I go! Emeralda, I can't take anyone else along with me for something like this. I'll be fine on my own. If Ellie go, I go too. Emeralda, I have to go with you. Emeralda? No! Emeralda, go too! Why not let her go? I am sure Solaris has a hunch about the limiter. They may interfere, so you may feel uneasy going it alone. I think Amaralda is cut out for this job. Besides, she is going to want to go no matter what. Take care of her until I can join you, please. Okay, you win. Let's help each other, alright? I can do it alone. You just watch. Bow, and off she flies.